We're at the Churchill Theatre in Bromley to find out more about Dr. Doolittle, the musical that's heading off on its UK tour. We're getting a sneak peek behind the scenes in the rehearsals, meeting the cast and the creative team. I have the honour to be playing Dr. Doolittle, and he's not very good people, or rather he thinks he's not. Um, and then once he's learned to speak to the animals, um, adventures, adventures ensue. I'm playing Polynesia, the parrot, um, who is Dr. Doolittle's like, trusty sidekick, and she helps him uh, talk to the animals because he wants to be the greatest animal doctor in the world. I'm playing two parts. The first part is called Albert Blossom, who is a big, barnstorming, boozy character, wonderful character to play, he's the circus owner. And in the second half, I play a character called Straight Arrow, um, who's the, really, he's, he's the kind of head guy of the floating island called Sea Star Island. I think with this production particularly, the, the fact that we, that Leslie, has written three new songs, which is fabulous, from a show that he first you know, put together 50 odd years ago. Um, that's one of the things that is great. The other thing is the way that now we've got the animals, this whole puppetry thing, this warhorse type thing is just extraordinary. Why is this show different? It's not Broadway. Um, so it's not a kind of piece of Broadway archeology. span It's not 42nd Street. Um, and it's not, um, it's not old fashioned. Leslie Brickus, who's still going strong at 87, has rewritten music, written new songs and rewritten the book. Um, and we've got lots of kind of different mixtures of genres in it. Uh, it's very British. A lot of our ensemble have become puppeteers and we have puppeteers as well who operate these, uh, 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 these uh, animals. These animals come alive, of course, and they can communicate because they, they make sounds as well. So Dr. Doolittle and the other main characters can interplay with these characters. So it's so colourful. Working with puppets is just really different to anything I've ever done before. Um, it's quite demanding and, you know, Especially with Polynesia, you, I want to play her as if she was a real woman, human being, and the way that she feels about him. And puppetry in general, um, I've never seen anything like it before. And that is actually the tag for the show, you know, I've never seen anything like it. So my character is Emma Fairfax. She is the niece of Lady Bellows who works in the court. She's the magistrate and she falls in love with his assistant, Matthew, which takes her a while to come to terms with because she has to decide, does she go with her family and her aunt or does she go with her heart and go with the doctor and Matthew and go on the trip? He's not quite as, uh, as intelligent as the Doctor might be and he doesn't have the same skills that the Doctor has but he kind of keeps him grounded in a way um, and he kind of guides him through maybe some social situations that the Doctor doesn't quite understand. In the first act I'm a woman called Lady Bellows and she is the local magistrate and she's also Master of the Hunt and she is the aunt of uh, our love interest Emma. And then in Act 2 uh, they all go off to Sea Star Island and uh, they discover that it's um, being looked after very benevolently by a nice man called Straight Arrow. But he has a wicked sister called Poison Arrow. And I want to take over the island and enslave all the animals and make lots of money out of them. As you get older, you want to new, learn new skills. And I really want to learn about puppets, to tell you the truth. So I knew it was puppets. I thought, I've never done them. And they're becoming very fashionable now and very complex. So that was the real reason. And the other reason I want to do it, because I love animals, and I think the world needs to get better through animals, so two reasons, animals and puppets. It's been kind of, it's amazing to be a choreographer of a show with puppets and dancers and actors and singers, um, but it's amazing. It was strange at first, I'm not gonna lie, but by about week two, the puppets become characters and it's just like directing any actor. 
it just you start you start choreographing for a dog. You start learning what a chimpanzee can do with the dance, and and you just start uh, you you react to what they can actually accomplish and what their what their characters are. Now they're actually real animals now, and they're not even actors. <laughs> so it's actually kind of fun. When I knew that Josh and Lee were doing the choreography, if you watch any of their stuff they've done before, it's absolutely incredible. What they have done with you know, incorporating the puppets and the dancers we have, the puppeteers we have, oh, it's just beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anybody who has a pet or an animal in their life or just cherishes wildlife of any kind can uh, relate with the leading character saying we have to save animals, we have to learn from them and, and if you love them in any way like I do, it makes working on a show like this so wonderful. It's, it's the perfect show for anyone who, who has a soft spot for the animal kingdom. It's an absolutely beautiful piece and the music is fabulous and you know the lyrics um, just really just carries you away. It's one of the loveliest jobs I've had. I think the song that has the greatest resonance is Talk to the Animals, because that is the, the sort of core element of what Dr. Doolittle's about. A special moment I, for me is the opening, when every, all the creatures, all the story comes out of a, the book. The original Hugh Lofting book, he wrote this, um, this series in uh, 1919, and we have a book on stage and the, the door opens and all the characters and all the set comes out. I love that. The love scenes between the two young people, the songs are just exquisite. So. There's just so much for everybody, really. I get bested by a small child at the end, which I think all the kids will love. There's something really, it's got elements of pantomime, it's got a, a, a sweet love story, and fantastic, fantastic songs by Leslie Briggs. I'm going to have to say the whole thing, it, it all fits together so well, um, and it, it moves so quickly and changes pace, changes tone changes emotion, um, so I'm, and all of us, I think I speak for the whole company, we're really enjoying the whole thing. Thank you so much to the cast and crew of Dr. Doolittle the Musical. If you want to find out more about the show and the tour dates, head to drdoolittlemusical.com and for more musical theatre news, head to our website, encoreradio.co.uk.